Hello traders, welcome to the weekly market overview with me Pierre at BIFX. I hope you all had a great trading week last week and uh, as usual I will help you to make your plans for the upcoming week on the majors. Many of you asked about gold last week so I added that on the chart. So uh, while I roll the intro and disclaimer, hit that like button for me and if you're new to the channel do not forget to subscribe. See you there. Yeah, welcome back guys. So as um, as I said, many of you have been asking about gold last week over YouTube. So um, I added that chart, of course. Um, and uh, we're looking at the gold on the daily time frame. <clears throat> and we are in uh, some kind of correction on, uh, on gold after this strong impulse. We're having one, two, three, probably to reach around the uh, monthly S1 down here and maybe another bounce higher from that level on gold so um <clears throat> the daily time frame we did reach this trend line and uh, got uh, rejected strongly here on thursday after reaching the 1310 and been mentioning this 1310 as a key level many times now uh, on lower time frame we see that uh, we um, we had a very strong impulse to the downside uh, the question is uh, how far of a correction we're gonna have now on gold um, the main idea was in our trading room to look for this level as a possible um, retest to uh, sell it from that area that is still possibly uh, the case so any any retest toward the, the monthly pivot point could be a good level to sell another leg toward the um, support down here either uh, this area or uh, around the monthly s1 around the 1275 uh, area before another bounce to the upside on uh, on gold so keep an eye on those levels and the reason I'm mentioning this area as a possible a good support level is of course uh, because of uh, as you see here previously it was a uh, nice support level we bounced at this area and uh, still not tested yes uh, before that we have this uh, support as well so uh, the area in between is not so uh, big so we could still see uh, a push toward the lows down here on uh, gold so as for now impulse wait for the correction and another leg to the downside is possible uh, euro usd as you see we broke above uh, this um, bottom here or um, this range we did a break we did a retest another uh, bounce higher to then as i mentioned in our trading room last week for our student to look for a retest toward this uh, broken box for another push to the upside and uh, we've got a very strong uh, push to the upside traded um, way above the uh, 1.13 which was a key resistance level so um, euro for now still could um, give you some more upside um, if we look on the daily we see that uh, there is still uh, a room toward um, um, higher levels but uh, we still do not have any daily break and close above 1.13 if that is the case next next week and we see a daily close above 1.13 uh, that may open the door for more um, for more upside on the euro before the next uh, uh, move lower now of course i am um, as you know a dollar bull but uh, the thing is that uh, since euro did never uh, break below uh, this low here we could not make a new low uh, when we moved to this area there was no uh, breach of this level and what we got was a higher low making uh, things a little bit uh, more um, bullish for the euro and um, we should keep the possibility for a higher move here open because um, because of that uh, in any case as you see when we look at this level here the 1.13 uh, still a very very uh, key level to keep an eye at for next week 
and um, since there is no much structure on the daily above this level as you as you see if we break above and close above on the daily there is no much structure so one could speculate of a possible uh, higher correction maybe once again uh, toward the 114.50 area where we also have the 200 moving average in any case this market is going uh, again uh, sideways right now and uh, that is a uh, possibility that we uh, may see this situation so right now we um, did a impulse to the downside a correction of 50 percent uh, toward this level still i am watching the uh, 618 on the four hour that could be an interesting level if we reach that we uh, could look for a possible uh, another bounce to the downside and if this hold that could be we are going for a higher level uh, from here so a pretty interesting chart we broke yet again above uh, the 200 moving average and above this uh, trend line i kept this trend line like this um, <coughs> because it was nicely respected here three times uh, previously four times actually before the break so i will keep this uh, trend line here um, anyway despite uh, that it was violated here um, the key support uh, right now is uh, the previous uh, highs here where we also have the monthly pivot point so if the euro uh, makes something like this pushed back down toward the uh, monthly pivot and uh, give you a bounce then there is a possibility to uh, test the previous highs so as for now uh, this market is uh, moving uh, to the upside making higher highs and higher lows on one hour and on the four hour time frame uh, so um, as far as that is the case with higher highs and higher lows we should uh, be looking to uh, to keep buying the dips uh, on this market until we see uh, the opposite which is uh, which is uh, lower lows and lower highs on the four hour and the one hour uh, sterling uh, is really pressured here inside this range so if we go to the daily on this market we see that um, we keep making lower lows uh, and lower uh, sorry lower highs but the lows still at uh, this key support level where we have the 200 moving average. So 1.30 is still key support level. That is the main level that this market need to break below for more downside. Otherwise, any retest to this area, expect maybe another bounce higher from here. Um, if that is uh, broken, then we uh, should uh, see a strong push to the downside. There is a lots and lots of stop loss pockets here. And if those start getting triggered, expect a move to the downside. The look of it, uh, it seems pressured and it seems possible. But as for now, um, the um, key resistance for next week monthly pivot point this area is key resistance as you see and uh, the um, support level is of course uh, down here at this uh, area uh, so uh, let me mark those levels for you here we go and uh, keep an eye on this uh, trend line as well from the upside seems to be working nicely as uh, uh, dynamic resistance um, here and as you see, we uh, making uh, consolidation or uh, correction in this area, um, as you see here. So it is coiling up for something big. There will be a strong break to the downside or a strong break to the upside. So uh, you need to keep uh, watching these levels. Uh, as soon as uh, one of these is broken, then there is uh, more to the uh, that direction so if this got broken we may uh, keep pushing higher and if this got broken we're gonna reach 1.30 and below that that will open the door for much more downside maybe all the way toward uh, this low down here uh, USD Jappy very very strong last week uh, strong push to the upside Jappy been very weak last week uh, and um, um, all over uh, the place um, all the other currency was stronger than Japi. so um, 
it pushed strong and fast and now it is testing a key uh, resistance level now the look of it as you see a very strong push correction another strong push the look of it saying that we're building up for a break out here above the uh, 112 uh, level above this previous high when that happened and if that happened that will open the door for much more upside maybe to test these previous high around the 1370 uh, 113.70 area but if we look on the one, on the four hour we see that this is uh, this is a pretty extended move and um, testing the resistance so of course we do not make a buy here what we should be looking for uh, right now is uh, some kind of correction of this move before uh, the next leg to the upside so look for that correction the deeper correction uh, the better if we get that deeper correction toward this uh, nice uh, trend line here as you see uh, that could be a pretty good level to look for buys and uh, continuation to the upside um, from from here uh, let's not forget next week uh, we have uh, we start the earnings season and uh, things start to uh, kick off strongly on the stock markets and uh, we know that Jappy is um, very correlated to those um, to uh, stock markets so um, keep an eye on the stock market as well if things going uh, south uh, then <laughs> this will also uh, maybe follow uh, but what what I'm pretty sure uh, here of is that we gonna we need that correction that correction gonna happen even if you see some kind of break out here don't go don't uh, chase the price wait for it it will always correct back down before another leg to the upside okay so um, keep an eye on that uh, USD chief still also in some kind of correction so what we had here is uh, a um, this impulse to the downside and right now we are making this correction and I'm still waiting to see if we are gonna break this channel for another leg to the downside those are my expectation on this market and um, yeah the look of it the shape of this move to the upside is telling me that we are possibly in a uh, correction mode before uh, another leg to the downside on uh, USD chief so keep an eye on that if you want to be on the safe side you wait for the break below the channel to then look for the retest and another leg uh, lower um, USD CAD <coughs> sideways um, not doing much more than um, bouncing around as you see we have an low here a lower high and then we are going sideways yet again so it is coiling up for something here we're gonna have some kind of uh, breakout either to the downside or a breakout to the upside i'm expecting the breakout to be to the upside actually and another push higher on this market but still there is no signal of that what we know so far is uh, this down here is uh, a key support level as you see been tested many times and uh, did hold uh, nicely uh, at this area so um, if this market uh, reached this support once again look for a possible bounce here and of course the NFB high here could be a possible resistance for another move to the downside until we uh, break out of it uh, nothing will happen until we see a break out of this uh, uh, range here the extreme highs up here is also a key level uh, to keep an eye at but before that it need to break above uh, these highs as well so this is the lower range down here between this low and this high and then this is the bigger range on this market Aussie USD also strong last week very strong push uh, but as you see if we look at this market on the daily we are um, trading sideways uh, we did a break higher uh, to then move all the way back down and push yet again one more time to the upside testing the monthly r1 tested the 200 moving average on the daily still 
these previous highs here looking left are very very important areas to broke uh, for this market to really reverse to the upside i want to see a break above the 200 uh, daily moving average and break above this high if that is the case on a daily time frame to then look for a, um, a correction or retest for another move higher maybe to test these highs or maybe even higher toward the uh, yearly pivot point but um, as far as that is not the case we um, should not be going long yet at that high and um, as you see on the four hour time frame we are consolidating making uh, uh, wide moves every time it moves like this we go all the way back down up all the way back down up all the way back down uh, now uh, the <clears throat> it shifted a little bit here since we broke above this previous high but we're still making deep correction every time so it's not the uh, best and healthiest trend ever here we are consolidating and uh, this market uh, still have uh, some more room to reach previous highs um, i think uh, the best level to look at is if we're gonna get another retest of this neckline if that is the case down here we could look for a possible bounce back up from this area uh, to the upside but uh, expect deep correction that is that been the case for a very long time now and um, yeah up here gonna be a key level it need to break above that for that last push toward these highs and monthly r2 um, on uh, Aussie USD now for Aussie USD to keep pushing higher uh, we need to have a good sentiment on the market and uh, we do have some news to keep an eye at for next week um, coming from both uh, China and um, Australia. We have the monetary policy uh, minutes. We do have uh, Chinese GDP, which is very, very important for Aussie as well. Uh, we have industrial project, uh, production year on year from uh, China. So uh, all that going to be important. And after that, on Thursday, employment and unemployment rate. So uh, there is lots of news event uh, that may um, affect this uh, market. And you really need to keep an eye on that to really trade it the right way. Um, New Zealand USD um, this market uh, did uh, reach uh, this nice support level and it could not break below it as you see so monthly S1 still a key support level and this previous uh, low down here now we did reach uh, the previous uh, resistance uh, last week so this last push lower here could be uh, end of the week profit taking as well so um, uh, those who went long here, uh, this could be a very nice profit taking level uh, and that's why you saw this push uh, lower. In any case, there is still a possibility for this market to give you another push to the downside uh, from this level. So. Um, I will not uh, change uh, anything here until we see a break out of this range so keep an eye on this keep playing this range until you see a break to the downside or a break to the upside which we may open the door toward a move uh, up uh, toward the, the monthly pivot point that could be the case a break below this here could open the door for a test of the last line of defense around this area uh, you see it better on the four hour actually so if we break these lows we have uh, this support to then uh, the second one is monthly uh, monthly s2 down here okay so uh, sideways range market uh, wait for the break of the range uh, otherwise uh, play that uh, range and uh, play uh, the bounces inside this range okay guys so uh, that was it for this week uh, thanks a lot and uh, yeah see you next week of course i will do the rest of the chart for our uh, premium members and if you want to subscribe you know how to do that just go to www.pa-fx.com and uh, you will get all the details over there thanks a lot see you next week bye bye